Next on the list of effects should be the cut modifier. If you go and look closely over here, you can see that we have a square tips. So this effect here is one of the things that you do not want to see unless you are making a just recent haircut. So it's like coming out of the saloon. If not, you will have the hair on layers and with damage. And normally the hair kind of falls, breaks, and receive some damage and everything. So the hair normally does not reach all the same length. And for that, we have the cut noise that you can find here. The cut noise is going to have two parameters. It's going to have the mass that we already know and the amount that is a random value between the minimum value and the maximum value. After that, we have reveal type that is going to be keep reparam that is going to affect uh, the curves or the strands of hair and it's going to cut the tips but it's going to remain the same structure of the actual hair and reparam is going to cut the tips but it's going to restructure all the other parts of the strand so it's going to take the cbs and it's going to realign the cbs with keep it's going to keep the amount of cbs that we had before uh, normally keep reparam it's a little bit better if you need to depend on the actual CB count that you have before for the effects because the noise can of kind of change if you uh, use reparam as you can see here the noise is a little bit noisy if I go for reparam you can see how it's a little bit more slick because we are going to have more CBs to use so if you want to remain the same shape it's a little bit better to use keep reparam sometimes so now we have the mask that is going to be zero to one or a map that is going to affect the parts that we want to cut and the parts that we do not want to cut and we have the amount so the amount is going to define how much do we want to cut from the actual hair uh, a value of 10 is going to cut a value around zero to 10 of the actual hair this amount starts at the tip so it's going to be a value random of zero to 10 from the tip to the root if i go to a value like larger like 80 it's going to affect much more and we are going to see how we are losing a lot of density between here and the hair starts to look weird for this kind of hair the random value should be around 10 10 units at the maximum value that we can have here and for the lower value it's going to be maybe around six so we can have a little bit more no sorry it's going to be zero because we don't want to cut everything, we just want to cut some parts. For the mask, the mask can work normally as you want, and you can even use expressions, just as the one that we are using for the mask percentage, and you can change everything straight away. And you can define how much hairs do you want to be cut by this parameter, and let's say that I want just 50% uh, to be affected by the random zero to 10, and I want to create a new one that is going to be affecting 20% uh, of my hairs. And this one, it's a really big one that is 0 to 30. So you can actually change the amount of, of cuts that you have. And that's going to define how the hair is going to look, how the hair is going to be cut, and how it's going to look at the final shape. So this is will be all for the cutoff session you can also put different structures on the mount something similar to the magnitude that we use on the expression for the noise should also work around here and remember to always put on your grooms a cut because it's going to affect quite a lot if you're working for fur or something like that on a creature remember that creature has a maximum length of hair and a minimum length of hair also and the hair tends to fall completely from the follicle, so be aware of that. So see you in the next one.